I don't know how to start today's video other than saying, don't die. I'm up here on the Needles Lookout, and we really have no plan for today other than adventure. In my last video with Rob, we had a definite plan. We were gonna take his new Tundra, take my new Bronco, and drive up Onion Creek, and the plan fell apart. So today, no plan. All we want to do today is go on an adventure. So we're just gonna start here, pick a route on Onyx Off-Road, and go adventure. It's 75 degrees down there, 45 up here. Utah's crazy. I can feel it, there's something in the water. So this is fun, uh, doing about 45. I've got it in the slippery goat mode. It's holding up all right. This thing's doing great on these washboards. Uh, I'm at 25 PSI. Feels good. Feels great, actually. And I have no idea where we're going. Straight, it looks like. Looks like that's about the only direction we can go. Reach out my hands to the heavens. Let go so I can hold the blessing. You've been better than I've been to myself. Oh, more cows. I really wish they would move on. That one seemed real skittish. Huh, what's going on? Boy, we are really off-roading now, let me tell you. This is as off-road as it gets. I really don't know how I feel about this camera position because I feel like all you see is my hand. And I wish, uh, I wish I had this camera like just up here instead of like right behind my steering wheel. Uh, this is kind of the best spot I have visually for it though. Without getting in the way of an airbag or obviously my line of sight, any of that kind of stuff. So we're just gonna deal with it. I guess I could do something from the middle. I don't know. I do like having like, I call this the top gear shot, right? Where they have a talking head while driving and then showing where they're driving. What do you think? What do you think? Keep it here where you get to see my knuckles the whole time or move it. I can't raise it from here because my airbag is right here. Uh, I can move it over to where my center camera is but I don't think that is, I mean, I guess it could come off here. No, cause then there's the hero switches. I don't want it to interfere with it. This is it. This is the best spot I have for this camera. And this is the reason I don't have a third camera. Whereas before I had A pillar, B pillar cam. And now I just have this one, which is kind of A pillar. Uh, if you want to call it that, it's more steering wheel, I think more dash. It's just hard. It's hard to, to create this type of content and keep the vehicle as safe as I can. Reach out my hands to the heavens. Let go so I can hold the blessing. You've been better than I've been to myself. Yeah. Lay down my weapons for the wisdom. Sing loud the voice that I've been given. So loud, believe into the walls. That may have been the easiest trail I have ever driven. Bring your civics, friends. This okay. was this was very easy, but here we are. How would you say that? Anticline? Anticline? Is that wrong? I don't know, I'd say anti. Oh. I, I knew you'd say anti. Yeah, because I'm English. Because you're British. I speak English. And this is what happens when you really don't have a plan. <laughs> you just kind of do what's closest to you. I thought we'd be getting some snow wheeling and a lot of adventure in. There's just a dirt highway and uh, a hike with a view. So I'm gonna try and convince Rob to not hang out here the rest of the night and go do something else afterwards. Maybe go explore one of the offshoot trails, goes to a different overlook. Dirt highway followed by a three minute hike gets you a spectacular view. Absolutely worth it. So bring your civics, your school buses, your box trucks, 
whatever else you might be driving because you can do that road no sweat and you get this incredible view behind us are the potash evaporation ponds and uh, some of their collection facilities uh, it's called an anticline because it's like declining and there's oil and stuff in there there's a whole poster here come out here read the poster learn all about it i just wish we were on a more technical trail because that's why i'm here that's why that's why i have the bronco and it was a dirt highway i want to be down there where the fun looks like it's really happening i think that's hurrah pass right what is that hurrah pass yeah. yep he knows he looked at the map i stood here and talked to you I want to be down there. Up here was fun. I want to be down there. So here's the deal. Our last trail was a little overkill for a stock tundra and we didn't want to get too hairy today. So we thought, hey, let's find a trail that's a little bit easier. And that's how we ended up here. But it seems we swung the pendulum too hard and we ended up with a trail that was as basic as they get, if you even want to call it a trail. I mean, I think I have family members who live down worse roads than what we just drove, and they're paved. <laughs> so, I, I don't know. Today's adventure, I mean, you get a video out of it. It's probably not the video you expected. It's clearly not the video I expected. And I'm gonna try and make a little bit more adventure from it, because there's a dome, like, yeah, it's way out there, you can't see it. But that's where we're gonna head to because we got a little bit of sunlight left, make the most of our day. Wish there was a little bit more technical stuff. Not like, oh, I'm gonna break a tie rod technical, but just, you know, the fun stuff. I'm sorry about that. So, I really hope that this takes us somewhere cool. We need, we need some fun stuff. Uh, we need some fun stuff. Anybody under control here? Okay, I really, really hope that this gives us something fun as we cruise out of that. I mean, look how easy this road is. I honestly, I kept waiting. I was like, oh yeah, we'll, we'll get to that tougher spot. Never happened. So that dome that's way out on the horizon, I don't know if you can see it via the GoPro cameras, but there is a dome way out there. I believe that's where we're going. I think it's a like little or small lookout. <sighs> yeah, this is rough. We really did. We really made it easier than we should have. Like far, far easier than we should have. I haven't even had to put it in actual four wheel drive. I've been driving in slippery mode, which is four automatic. So, yeah, we overdid the easy on this one. And it's just because last night when we were leaving the trail, it was a little hairy doing some of those obstacles in reverse in the dark under snow that had then turned to ice. And I, you know, Rob has a brand new truck that has no lift. It's got 33 inch tires and they're, they're basically street tires. They call them all terrain, but they're more like an all weather. Yeah, we didn't want to mess something up, especially because he's way far away from home. So here we are on this road, this very, very easy road. I mean, I love roads like this, but I like them when they're in between, you know, a, a full day of travel. But this being our only trail today, <sighs> broke my heart a little bit. Okay, here's our turn off. I think it's just gonna be more of the same. What do they call this? Minor overlook. Ooh, washboards. Jeez. Took my sunglasses off and that's what I get. Sunset's at five, it's 422. I think this is just gonna loop around this thing. much adventure up ahead. We'll have to fix that tomorrow. We will have to fix that tomorrow. One way. And we got signage galore. It's like a racetrack. 
looking at the map, this is just a loop. Oh no, what am I going to do? There's so much snow. And we're through it. That's pretty cool, though. I actually think that straight down from here is where the monolith was. Or close to. No, it was way over that way. Because we weren't in the canyon, so it was on the other side of that plateau way over to the right. If there was ever a spot to do a sunset time lapse, this is it. I think we should do that. I agree. I can't talk like that. What, am I in your way or something? Or are you just too big? I'm just too big. I can park it lengthways be about as much as you. So we've decided this is where the adventure ends and we're gonna set up some time lapses because what else can we do other than wait for the sun to go down? So we're gonna set up some shots here. It's gonna be like identical between the two of us, whatever. However, I need this lens to go on my time lapse setup. So I'm gonna grab a different lens to vlog on and set up a nice wide angle time lapse of all this stuff. All right, cameras are set up. I have my A7C set up on aperture priority, 16 millimeter, 2.8, and then a circular polarizer on the front, and it's sitting on my aluminum peak design tripod. Hopefully that's working. I have it going every 10 seconds. We'll find out in a little while. You'll probably find out as I'm showing this off. Over here, we have an A7 III at 24 mil, and it's all manual is how Rob has this set up. His is F5 and ISO 160 shooting his. And then because he doesn't trust that camera, he's got another one, which uh, I think this is an A6300 at full auto. So it's just gonna do its own thing and we don't have a tripod for it. So he's secured it with a pocket knife. <laughs> this is it. This is uh, creators at work right here. Change to the parka because uh, sun is setting. I mean, that's why we're doing these time lapses. And I think it's probably a good time to air up our tires for the drive home. Uh, Ford, when they sent me the Bronco, sent me this. It's a little uh, portable air compressor. So this will be fun. Get this figured out, get everything aired up. Woo! This is working all right. Uh, the only thing in this setup, like I love the Indeflate, used it for years. ARB compressors are great. This is a single, not a twin. I'm, a, I'm very much more used to the speed of a twin. Uh, it's this connector. If I just, I, I, I didn't even turn it off. I just nudged it and it, it doesn't stay as connected as it could. So I've been fighting this. Uh, so I'm gonna buy a new little separator here, the little connector between the Indeflate and the ARB hose, and then this should be a lot. Because look at this, I've, it's so touchy just to get it right. Well, it's dark, tires are aired up, time lapses are finished, and uh, it's time to head out, get back on that very easy road out of here. So I guess that does it for me. So if you like the video, please like the video. If you have a question, Leave me a comment, and if you want to hang out again, well, make sure to subscribe. Until next time, I'm Justin B. McBride.